how can I bring people to work with me and show them the process and what we do? Can you walk everybody through the show if they haven't caught up with it or they're not into it yet, or if they're thinking about renovation, mm -hmm. if they've ever daydreamed about a farmhouse or that type of life? Tell them what you want people to get out of the show and the process of the show. Yeah, well, it's, you know, when I was 20 and could leave my parents' house, I immediately went to the country, bought a farm, and it was just something that was in me as a kid. And to yeah. live on a farm and just experience that life is just so relaxing and so it's rewarding. It's so different, right? Yeah. You can really go outside and find peace. Exactly, and stars and exactly. Smell, like truly fresh air. Mm -hmm. it, it, it gives people such joy to, to live on a farm. Yeah, so that, it was just, you know, this was things I did was renovate houses and I would put it on my social media mm -hmm. and people were really curious, like, do you really do this? Like, is this real? <laughs> so I was like, how can I bring people to work with me and show them the process and what we do? So, you know, five, six years later, I landed up with HETV. Isn't and that it's great? It's just it's amazing. Great. <laughs> can you talk about what, what meaning that's brought to your life to see so many dreams coming true all at the same time and how they overlap but are so different at the same time. Yes, I love that you brought that up. It's, I always say new kids is totally different than renovating people's houses, but it's really yeah. the same to me. It's, it's doing an art and bringing people joy. Together I mean, and, right, when I together. see these homeowners walk into their houses, when they're like, I don't know what to do, like it's just so overwhelming to them. And then they just turn it over to us we go in, do exactly what they want, make it beautiful, and they walk in and just start crying. Aww. And then that's when I start crying. So it's, it's so rewarding. You can read on your face how much joy all of these elements of your life have brought to you. Yes. So do you do your own home on the show as well? I actually did a renovation the craziest. That's private to you? It was or the, more yeah, than the a renovation. Craziest? Okay. <laughs> it okay. was a. Uh, I, um, I have t uh, 10 acres at my house and we're only allowed one house. So me and my husband want to build a little bit bigger house, new construction, which is, does it yeah, oh, bothers me. Oh, I know this. It's, I live I'm in like... the country. <laughs> new construction or two yeah, no, you do not want to no, put no, no, together. No, no, no. Uh-uh. Right. So we had the original house uh, from the farm and we can only have one house on the property. So I had a company jack it off the foundation, roll it across the field, across the street, and plop it in a brand new location. It was, it was amazing. I mean, it was a house, it was built in like the late 1800s, and the only other option was so to was tear it down. So was it on a slab? No, it was on like an old rubble foundation, typical old. So did you put in a, a cellar or a slab or something yes. to move it to the new oh, location? Yeah, brand, yeah, yeah, brand new basement. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That is it's, amazing. Yeah. But now the problem is I, I moved the house over there next to my house and now my family's all fighting on who's gonna move in there because <laughs> I just did it for love and it really no foresight as to who's actually gonna occupy this home. <laughs> so, you know, my, my family, every day, they're like, nobody's moved in there yet. Like, what's, what's happening? So what are you gonna do? Are you gonna play a card game for it or flip coins? I, or? I don't know. I mean, primarily, I just wanted a place where my family could come up on weekends. Exactly. And, and experience be together, what right? I have. And, and just have the joy de to be together. So, yeah. yeah.